All right, welcome to the Daryl and Garrett show. We are, Garrett and myself, are heading to meet my wife and Cinnamon. Um, for y'all that don't know, uh, this is kind of the start of um, consignment sale season or whatever. And so my wife and Cinnamon love to go consignment sale shopping. And uh, so that's what they've been out doing today. Because uh, it's every weekend, but like, or it's every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but on Thursdays, because today's Thursday, they have a preview event. And so uh, my wife at Cinnamon always tries to be the first one there. And uh, we get pretty neat deals and all kinds of stuff. I'll show you some of the cool stuff we got later. Uh, or, well, in the past, but I'll show you later. But, uh, so we're going to meet them. We're either going to Waffle House or IHOP. I'm not sure which one. So, uh, we'll figure it out. And, uh, that was my phone. Probably my Twitter going off. But, uh, hey, for all of y'all that watch my videos, uh, y'all know IMC4DEM. Well, on Facebook, just to mess with Ian, I made a I Love Ian Carson page. And so if you're friends with me on Facebook, or if you watch my videos and you want to be friends with me on Facebook, just uh, look up my name, Daryl Collins, D-A-R-Y-L Collins, C-O-L-L-I-N-S. And uh, you'll find my Facebook page. It'll be, me holding a pit, uh, it'll be a picture of me holding my son, Garrett. And uh, just... Click, I'll add just friends, and then, uh, also, if not, you don't want to be friends with me, you can just go to the page, it's called I Love Ian, I-A-N, Carson, C-A-R-S-O-N, and, uh, just like the page, because, uh, what we're trying to do is get a thousand people to like his page, or like the page I created for him, and, uh, I talked him into shaving his head, so, and I will videotape it, and post it on YouTube and my Facebook page, so, uh, Tell all your friends to go to it, like it. So, but uh, I'm fixing to meet them. I gotta call them, find out which one they want to go to, Waffle House or IHOP. And, uh, and I'll talk back to you here in a little bit. Garrett. Garrett, you wearing a Waffle House hat? Yeah. Who got you? Should Nana got you? Say hey, Nana. Put your arm down. Show your face. Hey, Nana. Garrett. Like, I like the glasses. Oh, you want the glasses, Nana? Yep, take the glasses. No. no my hey, even though you're seeing the Waffle House here, we could have visit Mom. We actually went to IHOP to eat. Yeah, that ain't even right. <laughs> that wasn't my idea. I said to come here, didn't I? Uh, that's my door in law's idea. <laughs> hey, I yeah. want, hey, I wanted to come here, Tina. But, Some French uh, toast. Powder sugar. All right, all right. <laughs> he got him. He got Stan's glasses. <laughs> Give them to me. No, like they're gonna go in my mouth. Like they're gonna go in my mouth. All right, YouTube world. Let me tell you about my day so far. I, uh, we know we went to Aldi's. Cool. They got like, uh, they don't carry name brand stuff like I was telling you. They got a, uh, like a uh, off brand or whatever, their brand, whatever. And it's so cheap. So cheap. We went there and now they don't have like the selection like most grocery stores have. I mean, because quite honestly, they're really no bigger than like a quick trip gas station. Like a, you know, I mean, they're really. That's, they probably got about the same amount of floor space. Uh, maybe a hair bigger. But, um, what the stuff we bought, like if we would have bought it at Kroger or Publix or something, we would have spent easily 150 175 bucks. And there, we only spent $75. And so, let me turn this area down a little bit. And so, uh, we didn't get any frozen food at that time because there was another grocery store right down the road we wanted to try called Trader Joe's. 
which they are more, they're more like an organic store. Um, they just have a lot of stuff that just doesn't have preservatives and unnatural colors and stuff like that. And we wanted to uh, try it out, see what it was like. Well, we only bought one thing there. They was uh, pretty expensive. And uh, for all y'all that don't know, I'm a stay-at-home dad. So uh, pretty expensive is something we cannot afford. And so uh, we only bought like one thing there. It was like some orange chicken. And that was like four bucks. But uh, so then we went back by Aldi because we wanted to buy some frozen food. And so I went in there and they got like nice top round sirloins that you would pay like 10 bucks for at Kroger and Publix six bucks they got uh like big things of boneless ribs six bucks uh they got some uh top flank steak that you'd pay like 10 bucks for anywhere else five bucks and so i got like a bunch of that stuff and then uh got like uh just some other neat little stuff like they got produce that's really cheap and and it's just it's crazy just all the stuff that they have that's really good and a really good price. So all in all, I spent a hundred and twenty-five dollars. And if I would have bought this stuff anywhere else, would have spent close to, with the meat and everything, close to two fifty, three hundred bucks. So we are now Aldi fans. Now we can't get everything we want at Aldi, so we will still have to go to Kroger or Publix. But um, for the most part, they got everything else we want. So if there's an Aldi near y'all, I suggest you go try it out. Because I'm telling you, really, really cheap prices. So, and it's no different than like Kroger knockoff brands or Publix knockoff brands, which is, you know, their own company brands. But go check it out. I'm heading to the house now. I'll just drop the wife back off at the truck. Because uh, if y'all remember earlier, we met at uh, IHOP for lunch. And so she just rode with me instead of taking two vehicles around. So now we're heading to the house. The little man is passed out in his car seat. He is like dead to the world. He's gone. And uh, so we're running home and cook dinner. And maybe I'll film a little of us cooking dinner. I think we're just going to have some uh, salad with some chicken in it. Maybe I'll make some southwestern style chicken and put in my salad. So we'll see. All right, here's something cool. Or weird, or whatever. The buggies, you gotta pay a quarter to use them. But when you bring them back, you get your quarter back. Huh? So it's kind of neat. Alright, so we just left Waffle House visiting my mom. Uh, we decided to eat at IHOP, which I told you a second ago. Well, I wanted to eat Waffle House, but I got outvoted. And uh, so we went to IHOP. And uh, so we had to come up to Waffle House because I already told my mom to probably come up. And uh, so we came up visit her for a few. She had to see Garrett. And now, Jamie and I, Garrett, are going to this, uh, it's not a new new grocery store, but it's new to us since we've never been there. It's called uh, Aldi. And uh, we're gonna check it out. It's, uh, it's like, they only carry pretty much their own brands. They don't carry like major name brands. You know, like they're not gonna have Chef Boyardee, you know, and stuff like that. You know? to have their own brand stuff. So uh, we're going to check it out and uh, see how it is and uh, I'll tell you a little more about it afterwards. I would show you the wife but uh, she's done threatening me with death if I put her on camera again. So if y'all go back and watch the Walmart video, y'all will see that death look I'm talking about. And uh, I know breaking and see y'all saw it. You saw it. And, and uh, it's, it's scary. But uh, So I won't put her back on camera and uh, I will talk to y'all here in a little bit.